G'day mates and welcome back to Tropico. The public beta is out which means that they've added more stuff to the game. Which means the weird issue I had with building a nuke is no longer around. It's time to build New Korea. Oh man, I like this. Is that- hang on, is that a dividing line? Give me a second. I think I know exactly what I'm gonna build. Oh, sadly the dividing line was only in the map. I think it's time we build a new one anyway. I like all these, like, lakes around here, but, uh, I do think we need to build New Korea, though. We'll have, you know, North, obviously, and then we'll have a South and over here. This can be the US military base just off the island. There we go. We'll love it. Oh, is that- oh, hello there. The US military base has a secret cave with a single, very confused fishing boat. <laughs> okay, so I just bought some rum from the British that was part of the quest they gave me, so I bought 500 rum from the British. And uh, I'm now gonna sell it back to them at plus 5%. I'm making a profit, I think? God, I'm just an amazing businessman. I kind of forgot what he looks like. Hang on, what do we- oh my god, look at me. God, I'm fabulous. I love the shades, the Hawaiian top as well, the nice just shorts and sneakers. This is the Presidente. He's wearing shorts and sneakers. Or she's still wearing a peasant's dress from the 1800s. There we go, I like that. I've really done something with my uniform. It looks quite nice. Alright, I've started work on the North Korean side. I was thinking I was going to leave this to later before I designed the two halves, but, um... Well, the North Koreans only need colonial era stuff, so... I guess I can just make it now. Once again... Oh, wait, wait, what? I was about to say, once again, the fires are raging, but they can't. D I, I, I can't actually put out fires. It's the colonial era. Did they change that? Oh, well, that's a problem. Uh, Presidente, you need to stop setting fires because I can't stop them yet. Yeah, the fire station is in the World Wars, dude. Stop setting fires before fires are allowed to exist. We haven't invented it yet. I've made sure to build a chapel just in front of the palace where my snipers can get a good shot. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. There was that one shooting in the American church. Then again, if I couldn't make jokes based off where shootings had been in America, I couldn't joke about anything. Oh, gotta farm some crocodiles. You know, today, I shit you not, this actually happened. So I was walking to the bank, right? And I was going, okay, put my money away, get back in my car. And I look up and the guy in front of me is holding this thing in his arms. And he walks up, and this is like Main Street of, uh, of my old town. <laughs> and he walks past my car and he just keeps walking up the street. And I'm looking and going, is that what I think it is? And he, and he turns and stops and gets into his car. And he's holding in his arms a baby crocodile. Just, just a tiny bloody little croc. Just in his hands. And he just gets in, it's, it's a, a real crocodile, he just gets in his car, and I'm like, ah. I don't know where he's going with that, but alright. <laughs> just took it up the main street. Anyway, what the hell do we get for farming crocodiles? Oh my god. Steve, where are you, mate? We need you. We've got some croc farms going on. And one's eating the other one's ass. Chainmail gloves to increase job quality. Oh, uh, how have I not seen that one before? That's bloody funny, holy shit. <laughs> you know, I can't remember if I've already made this joke. In fact, I'm certain I have. But, Detroit, almost human. <laughs> I've also just noticed the almanac looks like a necronomicon for summoning communism. I like it. So I placed a park, which is meant to like increase the beauty of the area, but it's got like this structure on it, which looks suspiciously like a gallows. Why is everyone coming to Stonehenge? Oh god, the people are coming! Through the forests they come to Stonehenge. The druids are arriving. There's something I'm discovering in Tropico, it's that you can never have enough Teamsters. Like, seriously, just keep getting Teamsters. You need more bloody Teamsters. Just to move everything. I've got so many products, but not enough bloody Teamsters to get them out and sell them. The other thing I've just realized is we're gonna have an issue, because we have to, like, skirt the line between the Axis and the Allies. Can I just stay you know, neutral. Can I Switzerland this island, please? Otherwise, we may have some issues. Alright, so we do have to choose a side. I think what we'll do is, you know, it was World War II, you know, uh, what's called Korea was occupied by Japan. We'll go with the Axis, but then we'll go with America as they came in and liberated everything. Uh, <clears throat> yep, that's what America did uh, <laughs> after World War II. Oh man, I'm starting the Watchtower line. I love this. Oh man, I just realized the Presidente, he can't live like over in South Korea. No, 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 no. He's actually got to live in Middle Korea. Oh yes. <laughs> the Presidente is going to be part of the DMZ. Here we go. I told you he lives in Middle Korea. See? Nice and safe. <laughs> we should also build the embassy here next to this Watchtower that just looks in the diplomat's windows and has a real machine gun. <laughs> here we go, I'm creating South Korea, Seoul and all that, and uh, we've got, you know, some uh, some steel factories going on around here, all that sort of stuff, it's all getting built. Middle in the north, we have the uh, the power plants, we've got the uh, the textile mill, the, the cannery, all that sort of stuff. Well, I'm loving this. 
I really enjoy this game. I like that the requirement to join the Axis is just loot four times. I I don't you know I'm just gonna have a convincing talk. There we go, brilliant. Tropical. Some call it the valley of the Oh I was really confused. I forgot I was a woman now. <laughs> also, who's she talking to? Oh, she's talking to this poor guard who's who's really liking it. She, he was just fist pumping her on. But the speech is going on in the DMZ, so, um... Alright. You know what? Let's just start pissing off the allies. I want to fight them. Screw you, Winton Marlboro. Oh, man. I'm gonna smoke you right up. Whoa, 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 We're under attack by the allies. What? These guys don't realize we have just tanks rolling out. Also, apparently we've stolen Shermans somehow. We're gonna go beat the allies with them. We've also got these motorized infantry rolling out as well. Man, we are well equipped. The South Koreans have five tank divisions to stop the enemy. The North Koreans have a uh, militia and some trucks. <laughs> Oh wait, hang on, is this, is, is this a tank? Oh, the tank's gone. Oh, but no, the tank's actually defending the power plant. It doesn't actually care about stopping them from rampaging through North Korea. I believe the term is, welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, that's a reference to a video that's coming out hopefully tomorrow. Oh wait, not tomorrow, the, the next video rather. I don't know. Oh no, it'll be the video after probably. Also, these allied units appear to be using AK-47s in World War II. Oh, there they go. Hey, the North Koreans finally got into battle. God, Tropico's battles are just riveting, aren't they? Man, look at this war. God, you've never seen horrors like this before. Alright, the South has the clinking coin, and we're gonna set the North to... The Voice. No, 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 one for all. There we go. So we've now got the commies and the capitalists growing. Nice. Get ready to ride the Richter scale as Tropico welcomes Earthquake Oprah. No, hang on, you can't say that, all right? She's not that fat. Calm down. I like how a protest started. I like to assume it's a protest against the, uh, the earthquake. Oh yeah, we can build the security checkpoints now. Oh my god, yes. Man, I really like this. We've got like the South Korean military bases down here, the DMZ. We've got obviously El Presidente living right in the center. Then up in the north, hang on, you haven't finished yet. Ah, it's just $9,000. Who cares? There we go. We've got the uh, North Korean, you know, the Ministry of Information. We've got the courthouse. We've got the prison up here. It's l I'm just loving it. We got Oh, the only police station on the island is over here as well. Piss off, communist. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh, what's called the corrupt one as well. This is good. I think the only thing I need is to, like, I need something to actually do over here. It's so barren on these, like, watery areas. Yeah, I can put a fish farm. All right, let's just get a bunch of fish farms because, I don't know, we're gonna export sushi? Sure. What's like a Korean fish dish that's like famous, but it's not sushi, because that's Japanese? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I, I genuinely trying to think of like Korean food, because I know Korean barbecue's a thing. I just don't think there's much Korean food in Australia, really. You know what my favorite kind of Korean food is? Mashed potatoes! Oh god, that was forced, Jesus. I like to imagine all these eyes just have machine guns and cameras hidden in them. Just anyone steps over the line, all the Moe heads just wake up and go to war. Screw it, it's time. Let's get to work on this, shall we? There we go. Yeah, I mean, I think North Korea deserves all the uh, important bits, you know? South Korea gets all the tanks, North Korea gets a nuke. That, that keeps the balance fair. <laughs> Why is there a rich guy living in a shack? What? Oh, because he works at the ministry and there's no houses. And there's all these rich people just living in shacks. They're all college educated and rich. Living in shacks next to the ministry. Right, hang on, let me fix that. You remember that American military base I was talking about? Well, it's finally arrived. There we go. Look, we got the aircraft carrier. Got the base on the mountain. I shouldn't really be surprised it took this long to get here, after all. Americans are famous for arriving late. Dex Torotary Lactic Acid operates on basic settings. Or Lavarotary Lactic Acid. This building operates on an alternative basic settings, and some people swear it works better this way. That's a joke about cheese that I vaguely get. I remember someone telling me about that once, but it's going over my head. I still find it funny though. Oh man, we get to choose billboards. Tropic and flag. Recycle. Nice. <laughs> Never trust fire. Coming from a pyromaniac? That's a bit rich. I'm gonna keep that. Nice. All right, I've decided. The North Koreans are getting the nuke program, but the South Koreans are getting the space program. That's right. <laughs> the North Koreans can get nukes, but the South Koreans can launch them and they'll never be able to launch an ICBM until they learn to work together. I'm just a, like a really mad dad just in the center saying like, one day, one day you combine your talents and you'll nuke the world. Presidente, 
Operation Stony Kitty is a Stony success. Kitty. Oh my god. So I grabbed Stony Kitty because it just says the mystery of the Sphinx cannot be unraveled. And I've never actually placed this thing. So sure, the US military base, that, that's going to have it. Oh god. Oh, in come the helos. There we go. Oh, that was a bit of a... Bit of a physics jump there, but all right. Nice to see the nose is like still gone in this timeline as well. Hope that does something. Then definitely no thing like sequence where the US military base gets attacked by a giant sphinx or like a sphinx monster from the inside. A sphinxster, as you'd call it. <laughs> you can upgrade the asylum to be a matrix where you red pill or blue pill the people to get them out of your lands or make them in love with you. Come on. I'm going to get a great shot of this. Yes! Okay, brilliant. Oh yeah, it's time. Build the bomb. Come on. And oh yeah, it's time. 2.0. Test the Tropican bomb. It increases uh, approval of all citizens and the militarist and conservative standings. Let's go. Uh, what? Oh my god, there it goes! Ah! <laughs> I just heard it. Uh... What did we actually blow up, though? That's the real question. That island in the distance, maybe? <laughs> Anything? Well, I guess that went somewhere. Hopefully to the moon. But I think we're gonna leave it there. I love this little DMZ I've built. I'm loving the North Korea, South Korea. We've got, like, the super high-tech, like, the factories and stuff down here. Then we just have, like, farms for days up here. This is really good. I like Tropico quite a bit. But, uh, alright. There is one last shot I want to get, and it's going to be in the thumbnail, I think. Let's see if we can do this. Prestige mission, right? Go. And then we switch to edicts. Okay, we've got to wait. Got to wait till it's in the sky. Okay, ready? And go. Uh, nuke testing. Issue the edict. Go. Brilliant. There we go. We got a shot of the rocket going to space whilst we tried uh, nukes in the distance. I love it. Alright, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, I've been Rumi. And have a good one.